Hello guys, welcome back to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the micro C4 fix built in PWM library. It will be an introduction and also I will show you how to use it using Proteus. So let's get started. First of all guys, we go to the Proteus and in the Proteus go to the schematic and then here I go to the components. I write fix 16. Let me zoom it in for you so you can see better. Okay, write down the pic 16F877A. Here we go. Select it. Place it anywhere on the screen. Now, guys, here you can see that we have pin number 16 and 17 that is also on the data sheet of the pick it says that ccp2 and ccp1 these two are special functions of these two pins it means that ccp1 is the pwm1 and ccp2 is the pwm2 now let's get to the micro c4 pick and i show you the library okay guys right, this is the micro c4 pick i am using it's within 7.2.0 7.5.0 is also available you can use the higher versions basic concept remains the same so guys click on file new project you will get to this window new project wizard click on next write the name of the project i write pwm learning micro controllers and pic 16 fa 7 a is the microcontroller i am using and 20 megahertz is the crystal i am using click on next and finish so guys this brings us to this window before doing anything else save your project that's a very good practice press ctrl s and save wherever you prefer now guys on the right side in the library manager you have this micro e libraries expand them you will get to the system libraries expand them now here look for pwm here it is check mark it and expand it now in the pwm you can see that there is pwm1 init initialized and pwm2 initialize now guys that is why i showed you showed you the proteus uh, the data sheet so guys ccp1 refers to pwm1 in the library wherever you will use a pwm1 command then you have to connect your sensor module or motor or anything at pin number 17 and if you are using pwm2 then this pin will be programmed that is why it is important to know that your library point to which pin now guys we know that pwm1 initialize will initialize a pwm and at a certain frequency then we have the pwm set duty cycle this is a very important command you initialize a pwm then you set the duty cycle when you use a pwm1 it means pin number 17 for pwm2 it means the pin number 16 rest is the same so there are total of four commands in the library then you have pwm1 start when you press the start use this command only then the set duty will work if you do not use this command set duty will not work and you stop if you want an emergency stop so guys let's program something so what we do is that we simply use a motor and a potentiometer uh, i will use a motor and a potentiometer whenever we rotate the potentiometer the speed of the motor will change using the pwm so to connect a motor okay go to components and here you write motor in the keyword and select this simple dc motor place it anywhere on the screen we cannot in the actual hardware run the motor directly with the pix power so we will need a transistor to make a half bridge we also do that just take any transistor tip 122 will do fine so we use this tip 122 bipolar transistor place it and we will need a diode for the motor also take a diode this uh, this this diode resistor and transistor will be for the purpose of uh, half bridge because we are also making a half bridge as well now we need a normal diode not the zener so
okay this is the normal diode place it here rotate it okay this will do fine now we will need a resistor as well to trigger the transistor so I'll just write res you will get the resistor place it here now guys connect the resistor with the base pin of your transistor like this then for the diode connect one end to the one end of the motor and other end to the other end of the motor then the collector will go to the cathode end of the diode and now you will bring in your power and ground ground you place it right here and power you place it on the top give power to the one end of the motor like this and the emitter of your transistor will go to the ground and ccp1 pin that is pin number 17 will go to this this all setting this diode transistor and resistor because we made a hard bridge for the motor because we cannot run the motor directly with the pick in the actual hardware setting but this circuit you can also follow in the actual hardware this will work 100 percent fine so guys now we our hardware is ready now we will program the pick for that let's do some basic programming for that purpose we will need a potentiometer when we will rotate the potentiometer it will uh, give change the pwm which in turn will change the speed of the motor so we take a potentiometer as well now write down put, uh, variable resistor variable resistor like this go to the bottom there will be and then you have the resistors which will do so this one because it will allow you to simulate this you have to use this one only double uh, edit it and make it 10k just add a zero here okay this will do fine now the upper end just send it to the power like this and the lower end send it to the ground like this so this is power and ground and the programmable pin you send it to the pin number a0 we will use a pin number a0 of the adc library now let's get to the micro c4 pick and program it so this is our micro c4 pick first of all go to the pwm pwm1 init and in the example here you have this command pwm1 init now this command as you can see has pwm1 init then 5000 within the bracket this is the frequency this means 5000 hertz so this is fine for tip 122 you can change the frequency by changing this uh, like you can make it 10000 if you want 10 kilohertz so 5000 in our case is enough so this command will be used to initialize the pwm1 that is pwm1 means pin number ccp1 that is pin number 17 if you use a pwm2 initialize this means pin number 16 now guys the next thing is in our program we will need the adc because we are having a potential meter for demonstration purpose so use the adc library also initialize the adc i have another video on the adc library so i am not going to explain it here so adc pins are initialized we have pwm initialized adc initialized now we go for the forever loop in the forever loop you can see that make it presentable first of all we start the pwm1 to start the pwm1 you use this command pwm1 start this one it's a simple command now whatever the pwm you want to send will go and work then we use the pwm set duties for the pwm1 this command now this pwm1 set duty is important it says that in the description it says pwm duty ratio parameter duty takes values from 0 to 255 it is basically an 8 bit duty command so 8 bit means maximum 256 character 2 power 8 so in that case in this case the maximum it is a uh, pwm value is 255 while the adc value is 1024 because the adc module as shown in the adc video is 2 power 10 so we will do it sampling using 
simple calculation command. So th this means the duty cycle we are going to give. So at 255, output is is max output. That the motor will be at full speed at 255. If you want 50% speed, just make it half. If it is at 10%, it means the speed of the motor will be 10%. Now what I do is that I take a integer variable, integer or you read one. We will read the potentiometer value in this integer here. And as shown in the ADC library, we will use the ADC read command from channel 0 because we have conducted the potentiometer at channel 0. This will read the data and then this read one will be the command will be the data. But the problem is the maximum value for ADC is 10 is max at 1024 while the here it is 255. So we cannot directly place read one here because in such a case it will go above 255 which will be useless. Motor will work at a very high speed. So we do that. Now we open the calculator and we do some simple math. Open the calculator. 1024 divided by 255. That is our max value. It gives us 4. So we divide this by 4 to bring it in the range of our max ADC uh, PWM duty cycle. So we write read equal to read 1 equal to read 1 divided by 4. Now this will be the value that will be needed that will be sampled here. Now it is within the range of 255 whatever if it is 1024 it will make it below that. So let us get to the calculator let me show you how. See that if it is 1024 divided by 4 See, maximum it will be 256, which is within our range. So it's fine. Now, guys, uh, we have the uh, potentiometer, and this is an important command. PWM1 starts. We initialize the PWM at 5 uh, kilohertz speed. Then we started the PWM. Now we, will, we are sending a duty cycle to the PWM given by our potentiometer. So this will control the speed of the motor. So we build this code, and we have a error here or is capital so no error the code is perfect now we get to our proteus and let's see what happens so in the proteus double click on the pick write the speed of the crystal 20 is the one we are using now go to the browse wherever you had built the hex file you go to that folder like this and then the code starts. See the motor is moving. Now the potentiometer is at center. I bring it down. See potentiometer goes down and the motor slows down. Motor has slowed down. Uh, let's change the rev of the motor so you can do better. Better. I make it 100. It will be faster. Now see at the bottom most position ADC value whatever it is generated it means that it is at the minimum. The PWM is in ratio with the ADC value. Whatever the ADC value is, PWM is the div divided by 4. It becomes our PWM value, which is maximum 255. So it means that at minimum ADC PWM value, the motor is not working. Now I increase the ADC value little bit. See the motor starts rotating. Now see what happens when I increase the value further. See it goes faster. Now I increase further, it goes even faster. Further it goes faster and at maximum it, it is the fastest. See, it is the fastest. Now when I go down, it sl slows down again and at the bottom it stops. See, no PWM is being sent, so it stops. As you can see. So guys, this is simple to use PWM library. Let me give you a recap. See that. Only the command that was useful is the PWM initialize, PWM start and PWM1 set duty cycle. There is another command PWM stop. It is needed when you are using this PWM to start and stop. If you stop it here, you can set the PWM2 to start to change the direction and other stuff. So it depends upon how you program it, but your main commands are only three here. One command is PWM initialize, 
other one is the set duty cycle and other one is the start these three commands will be needed in every project whenever you want to use a pwm this is very easy and simple to use library even easier than in case of arduino in arduino you use, use the analog write while here you don't have to do that so guys uh, let me again show you a recap so i increase the potentiometer then it increases the speed of the motor you can see that in the center and as for the greater the potentiometer value the greater the speed of the motor you can see that it is maximum when the potentiometer is at max so when i bring it in the center center the speed of the motor is also in the medium state so guys i hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day